Hiya. I don't suppose you've seen your dad recently? I know who you are, and I know what you do. Really? Yeah. If you threaten my dad again, I'll go straight to the police. Well, aren't you the tough girl who loves her daddy? If you want to help him, give him a message from me. You tell him I'll be back Friday and I want my money. All of it. Hi, Tina. Hi. Just give him the message. Who was that? No one. What do you want? Nothing. Doesn't matter. I don't believe you. Someone around my mum's this morning. But it's got nothing to do with you. Your dad is married to my mum. And if something is upsetting you, and I can help, I will. Will her ladyship be joining us? She's feeling a bit tired. Tired? She's been sat in front of that telly all afternoon. She's got a new life growing inside her. She's pregnant. That's what I said. Mm -hmm. I have been pregnant. I don't know what it's like. Well, then maybe a bit of sympathy is in order, a bit of support. She's taking advantage. She's taking care of herself. She's not had a drink or a fag for two weeks. She might be feeling strange. Hi, oh, babe, everything okay? Yeah. 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 No problem. I'll be right up. What does she want now? She's got the remote. Um. Well, he's bounced under the chair. She finds it very difficult to bend down. Be back in two seconds. Oh, come on, thank goodness you're here. I don't know where anyone is, and I hate drinking on my own. It looks so sad. Uh, did you know Joe was in debt to a loan shop? What? Well, that makes sense, actually. I mean, everybody knew he had money troubles after that business with the drugs. Apparently he's been putting pressure on Joe. He's even been hassling Tina. I knew Joe were trouble. No one had listened to me. I saw bruises on her arms. What sort of bruises? Like someone had grabbed her. What's she say? Oh, she denied it, but something's not right. Nick, sweetheart, I have tried talking to her. She just sends me away with a flea in me. Right. We should see her together. Force her to tell us the truth. Yeah. As soon as I finish this. Oh, I just don't know what to do myself. I'm rattling around the flat on my own. Oh. Well, where's Simon? Oh, he's staying over at George and Eve's, just for the holidays, you know. He loves it there, and with me running the bookies, it's just easier for now. What about Peter? Well, it's early days, but he seems to be getting on all right, and they're keeping him busy with loads of workshops and stuff. Oh, I couldn't bear rehab. <laughs> you don't need rehab. Hey, I sometimes wonder. R5, every day I get Chardonnay with Gerald. <laughs> You looking well? Yeah, you too. Small world. Hello again. I'd love to stop and chat, but we've got a family crisis. We, we, we can talk later. I'm busy all day. OK. Come on, we're going to do this. Duty calls. How do you know Nick? How do you know him? Oh, <laughs> I think I need a drink. <laughs> I'll buy you one. <laughs> what was all that about? It's not important. What does it take to pick up a remote? I had to peel a satsuma. She hasn't got the strength to peel her own satsuma. It was still in the bag. Oh, now I'm worried. She's got shifts to do. Now, it's one thing you being soft enough to run round after her, but I am not asking Betty and Sean to peel satsumas. I'll have a word. bringing a friend on with him. Gary, what kind of friend? I don't know, a mate. Hey, he's not gone the other way, has he? Oh, don't be daft, it's a soldier. We should get some extra food in, and we should clean up the house. We're not coming till Friday. No rush. Oh, speed you move, we should have started last week. Not a bad time, is it? I don't know. Depends what you want. It won't take long. Come to give me another interrogation? Oh, Gail, we care about you. 
Yeah, well, he's got a funny way of showing it. We know all about the loan shark, and he's been hustling Tina. Joe has a bit of financial trouble. That's why he's working so hard to put things straight. He's up to his eyes in debt, and he's disappeared. He's working in Cumbria. His own daughter hasn't spoken to him since the two of you went away. Yeah, well, have you tried getting a signal on your mobile halfway up a mountain? It's obvious she's not telling us the truth. There's nothing to tell. Nick says you've got some bruises on your arms. Now, can I see them? No, you can't. They're my bruises and nobody else's business. Has Joe hit you? Oh. Yeah, I, don't, I don't believe this. Two of you been sitting together comparing notes, uh, letting your imaginations run away with you? Gail, has he hit you? No! Never has, never would, never will. Joe is a good man. You are so far from the truth, you would not believe it. Well, sadly, of course, that's exactly what you would say if he was beating you up. Do you know me at all? I sometimes wonder. You think I would put up with a man who beat me? I do know you. In fact, I think I know you better than you know yourself. And right now, I know summer isn't right. There's people to serve down here. Yeah, I know you're thirsty, but... OK. Yeah, OK. Two minutes. Uh, baby's dehydrated. I need to get a fluid into Becky as soon as possible. Which is cold for she wants a cup of tea. Extra milk, two sugars. I still can't believe you were married. To oh. him? Well, we all make mistakes. How long ago was this? It was a million years ago. We were young. Too young. He's a very manipulative man. And pushy, too. You're not thinking of doing business with him? No. Good. Although, he clearly provokes strong reactions in people. Well, don't you go thinking that that's a good thing? I don't. I'm intrigued. I'm not. He's trouble. Oh, if you say so. So, no regrets then on your part? No lingering feelings? No, definitely not. Look, I'm just trying to warn you what he's like. I know. And everything you say tallies with what I thought when he first swaggered into my office. But, but, now I'm curious. What do you think we'd like to eat? The soldiers. They eat anything. Yeah, but they probably used to having, like, boring army rations in the barracks. They could do with a proper home-cut meal. Mm. How about a leg of lamb? Nah, it's got a bit of beef. Roast beef and Yorkshire pudding. Mm. Oh, that's it. A traditional British roast. Mm. What's down by a traditional kind of lager? Yeah. Mm. It's only because we care about you. Hmm? And I feel there's something you're not telling us. I should have told you earlier. Yeah. Come on, you can tell me anything. When I married Joe, his money problems became my problems. That's the way it should be. And he is doing everything he can to sort them out. Yeah, I can vouch for that, Graham. I mean, he really is determined to turn his life around. So worry about you. Don't. Oh, like it's that easy. What are you doing? Going back to not see him. I drive safely. I thought you were staying till the weekend. Yeah, plans change. You obviously don't want me here. That's not true. Well, speak for yourself. If you want me to stay, talk to me. Tell me what's going on between you and Joe. Let him go. I swear to you, nothing is going on. Everything is fine. Did you change your mind? Never I am. <laughs> oh, yeah, very mature. You could try holding your breath till you turn blue. If she won't talk to us, then what's the point? But what, what is wrong with you? I mean, she's explained everything. You're still having a go at her. What are you saying? That she's a liar? Yes. Yes, I am. She's obviously lying. She's not even very good at it. Nick! Look, I don't know what's going on, but your husband's given you some nasty bruises, he's in trouble with the loan shark, and he seems to have disappeared. Or you're hiding him somewhere. Whatever you're covering from. And you can tell us, Gail. Ah, oh, well, there you go, Mum. It's all out in the open now, at least. I mean, you're a liar, and you're covering for your wife-beating, debt-ridden husband. Get out. 
Both of you. Oh, gay. I said get out. Come on, there's no more we can do. Oh. Do you know, you do this every time, please. Well, I'm sorry to be so predictable. Maybe if you gave me a bit of support rather than cross-examination. Oh, come on. Hey, do you think it's safe letting them do bedtime? Yeah, I think so. We're getting quite good at this. Oh, yeah, I almost believe it myself sometimes. Thanks for doing this. I really do appreciate it. Hey, listen, when this is over, I'm going to take you somewhere really posh for dinner. Because I think we both deserve a bit of us time. Then we can go and lie down in a dark room for a few yeah. hours. Yeah. And maybe think about making more babies. Well, what are you doing? No, I'm, I'm joking. I just, uh, it's just uh, really difficult getting out characters. Yeah, look, you know? I really appreciate everything you're doing, but I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, no, no. Just, no, shh. No, just uh, save it for the aunties, yeah? Here you are. Reckon you deserve it. What are you going to do now? I'm going to sit here, drink this, and wait for Joe to call. It's only going to get worse, you know. He'll be back soon. And who's going to crack first? I can't let him do this. He's in enough trouble as it is. And the shark is circling. I thought you were on my side. I am. Then please. Help me. Help Joe. He'll be home soon. I know he will. <laughs> that man owes us big time. He'll be home. Soon. Dear, the walls are closing in on Gail. You can go to itv.com slash Corrie to watch an exclusive video with actress Michelle Keegan, who plays Tina, as she reveals what happens when the truth comes out. A twisting, involved case. Next tonight, as CID are put firmly on the map in the last of the series of Law & Order UK.